29th. It will be three years already since this. The destruction of Duckbill Rock at Cape Kiwanda in Tillamook County that was caught on camera. Now, the people who did this, they have never been caught. And in 23 days from now, investigators will hit a legal deadline to prosecute. But it may already be too late. I thought they were just doing it, you know, to get like a cool social media picture. Just days after he caught it on video, David Callis and his friend Michael Kell described the troubling moments. We looked over and there was probably eight guys pushing over the big rock. This is what Duckbill Rock looked like before the act of destruction. The after pictures and the video sparked so much outrage, it seemed like it wouldn't be long before someone somewhere turned in the group. One of the guys replied to me that it was a safety hazard and that one of their, their friend's friend broke their leg while on top of the rock. They kind of just like laughed it off, took it with pride that they destroyed something magnificent and then just kind of disappeared right after. Like it had no meaning to them whatsoever. It's been a, a frustrating investigation. The Tillamook County Sheriff's Office helped Oregon State Police investigate. Leads took them to suspects in Portland and McMinnville. It did go viral. It was viewed by many people and, and we did try to work with, with Facebook. We did follow up on leads and of, of potential of, of people in the video. We tried to identify people that were, that were in the video. But the leads became dead ends. Now it might be too late to prosecute anyone. The Tillamook County District Attorney told me last year the statute of limitations is two years from misdemeanor, which means as of last August, the suspects were scot-free on that. But if the case could be prosecuted as a felony, then the statute of limitations is three years and there's still time to prosecute. A crime rises to a felony based on value. But how do you put a value on an ancient rock formation? The DA said another Tillamook County case could provide guidance. These are pictures of the Cape Mears Lighthouse with bullet holes through the glass lenses. One could argue the lenses were priceless because they were handmade in France 120 years ago. The vandals responsible were charged with a felony. In the end, they got a month and a half in jail and were ordered to pay $100,000. But of course, they were caught. Well, I am surprised that given the fact there was a video viewed by so many people, that, that there was not a, a larger response, more concrete information was not received. That is very disappointing. The fact that they went through all that effort to destroy something without any intention and just leaving is, is heartbreaking. And there's this, the sheriff told me they feel there are people in Oregon who know who did this. If anyone has any tips, they should call the Tillamook County Sheriff's Office, but investigators are almost out of time.